let's see what the new update's about. <clears throat> uh, we're ready to begin. No, is this gonna be the tech team thing? I think it is. Let's see what it is. Yeah, the tag duel tournament. I'm not sure how it's gonna work. I think you just get assigned, or um, you choose one of uh, the characters, and that's gonna be your partner. this a special area attack to tournament has been unlocked select the icon in the middle of the dual world to travel to join the attack to tournament all right box details I thought they were gonna oh no this is the last one did they remove the other one let's go ahead and check Let me put the item down a little bit. They said, the, yeah, they did remove the uh, volume uh, one box. Alright, let's see what this tag, uh, tag duel tournament's about. Teamwork is a key to winning a tag tool, so we won't win this fight unless we work together. You can acquire friendship letters by dueling in the dual world. Oh, so it's basically it's like a, um, I guess like a, uh, what's it called? Uh, those dimension things they had, uh, earlier. I think that's how it is. Now, <clears throat> how to play, how to advance through the event. Duel in dual world and rank duels to obtain friendship letters. Use friendship letters to tag duel, obtain tag coins by tag dueling. Save up your tag coins to draw from the lottery. Obtain completion rewards by winning the tag. Let's see what the cards are that they're going to give us. Here, if any. Car lottery. Can tell us what cards they are. All right, we get uh, champion sh uh, champion of master difficulty third time. We're gonna get uh, unity. Select one monster on your side of the field. The defense of the selected monster becomes equal to the combined original defense of all face up monster on your side of the field. Uh, and to the end phase, uh, it's a decent card. All right, we're getting a uh, an ultra rare evil swarm salamandro. Up to uh, level four, eighteen fifty. Up to twice per turn, you can banish one monster from your graveyard. Uh, this card gains 300 attack until the end of your opponent's turn. That's actually a really decent card. It's a dark level 4. Uh, Sombria of the Dark. This card cannot attack your opponent directly. If this card destroys a monster by battle, this card loses 200 attack. Uh, this is a good card for uh, when a skill ring gets released. Uh, Triamid Pulse. Once per turn, you can banish two cards from your graveyard. Any combination of rock type monster or field spell cards and activate one of these effects. Tag one other face-up card of the field, destroy it. Target one rock type monster in your graveyard, special summon in defense position. Target up to three field spell cards in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, then draw up. Uh, that's actually a decent card. Equip cards are bad. Equip only to a warrior type monster, gains 800 attack, all one monster, save 500. Alright, so. I think the, uh, the card to look after is Evil Swarm Salamandra. It's an ultra rare. Uh, and Sombria of the Dark also. Uh, Unity isn't that, that great, I don't think. Uh, this thing might be decent. Uh, the equip card is uh, it's not relevant, so I'm not gonna really talk about that. But uh, yeah, this is uh, what the tech the dual things about. Let's see if we can get into a game and see how it works. Let's see the the lottery. Let's see if there's any difference in it. Well, I don't have any coins to check into it. Alright, I'm gonna do the first duel and see how how it works out. Okay, how to play tag goes turn progression. Starting with the player who goes first, the competing team will take turns alternately. Okay. 
<clears throat> there's an example. Team going first, player one. Uh, team going second, player one. Team going first, player two. Team going second, player two. All right, let's see if this is confusing. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Oh, I forgot to change that, the deck I was playing with uh, yesterday with that black uh, envoy, the black Lost soldier envoy of the evening twilight. It's a level 10 deck, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, I like that animation. That animation is actually kind of cool. So yeah, basically it's like a tower thing. Wait, did we start out with Ritual Cage? Taking a battle damage from attacks and robbing a ritual. I guess that's... Oh, I guess, I guess she's my... Or did my skill change for... I, I don't know. I think my skill changed. And my character changed as well. Oh, and they start out with 6,000 life points and so do we. Alright, my turn again. Alright, it's a, it's a decent, I uh, guess. Oh, but we can only use the same uh, space, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. I thought we were going to get double the space. Alright, I have a light. Uh, I'll go ahead and send the dark. Activate. I'm gonna do that, but I'm not gonna activate the effect so we can go ahead and win. Uh, no. Then we have what? A light and need another dark in the game. Oh, 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 face almost on the field. Mm, three, four. I think that's gonna be just enough for game. Uh, th there you go. That's that's how you play tag duels, I guess. Uh, it's a it's a decent concept. Uh, I don't know that if it's something that I'm gonna enjoy or something that they need to bring to to rank gameplay. Um, I, I don't think it'll be worth it to bring it to rank gameplay. Um, overall, it's like I guess it's decent. Let's see how many uh, coins we get in. Let's see if we can go ahead and get into the uh, the reward list. I right, go twenty gems, like right, semi finals. Okay, Let's check out the lottery. All right, he was from Salamandra, Sombra the Dark, Lightning Blade. What is this? Creole, Fiend, level four, one thousand. When this card is sent to the uh, to the graveyard, I start the battle. It has a coin and call it. If you call it right, destroy one monster on your opponent's side of the field. Right, that's a decent little effect, I guess, for... I don't know if it should be a super... Uh, sort of done. Quick play. Target one equip spell card in your graveyard and one appropriate monster on the field. Equip the equip spell card to the monster. Destroy that equip spell card during the end phase. If you activate this card, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn. You can only activate one sort of done per turn. Uh, I guess it's like a reinforcement of the army, kind of. Oh, you might be able to do something with uh, with what what's that called? A uh, black pendant. Uh, you can increase your uh, your attack by five hundred, and then uh, whenever it gets destroyed at the end of the turn, your opponent takes five hundred damage. All right, we've already talked about that. Garusi's Dark Zebra, maximum six. Uh, I don't think I've heard about this. When this card shoots someone, roll a six sided die, and this card gains attack equal to a sword uh, times 200. That's uh, a decent effect. That's five for those explosions. When this card is activated, you gain 500 life points for each continuous spell or trap card you control. If this face up card you control is sent to the graveyard by your opponent's card effect, you can play 100 damage to your opponent for each continuous spell or trap card. I guess that's gonna be like a decent burn card. But I think overall I do want to get the Evil Swarm, the, the Salamandra, uh, and the Sombria Dark. So I will be playing a little bit here. Uh, I'm going to have to do some dual world games, I guess, first. But uh, there you go. That's how you play the, the dual tag or the tag dual tournament. 
Uh, if you have any questions or comments about this video, just leave them in the comment section below. Or uh, if you're enjoying my content, I'd truly appreciate it if you guys subscribe. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time.